Hi, Kristen. Have you ever had a bad dining experience due to poor service? Oh, Shiv, have I ever. Once uh, a waiter actually scolded me for putting waffles in my purse, and I was like, it's all you can eat, sir, so. Yeah, poor service, in fact. But it is easy to fix bad experience in person. You complain to the manager, she gives you a gift certificate for the next visit, and you're back eating at the restaurant again, right? Well, yes, buffets are a great value. But I did wear a wig, so he wouldn't catch me. And that's how easy it is in person. When we shift to online, measuring and identifying poor experience as well as fixing it is really hard. Let's consider the data of a fictitious brand, Savoy Resort. They are using this data to ensure best possible customer experience. We have a lot of data which tells us what the visitors are doing, but we don't have a way to understand how everyone is feeling. You do not know whether customers will come back or make a purchase in future. Hmm. Knowing whether you will have repeat customers would be a valuable tool. You got something for me, Shiv? It will be. And Project Winning Scores is that tool. Adobe Sensei AI measures experiences of all of your millions of visitors using the data that is already in Adobe Analytics. Here we see experience scores for every single visitor. The score lies between zero and one. A higher score indicates better browsing experience. The bar chart shows only a few visitors have a good experience, many have average experience, and a sizable number have a poor experience. With this tech, you will know browsing experience of each of the millions of your customers readily from your dashboard. No technology out there does that. And I'll show you how to use these experience scores. High scoring buyers are easy, entice them back to buy again. The average and poor experience score indicate friction that visitors face in browsing. Ooh, friction browsing, it sounds, it sounds uncomfortable. Yes, it is. To understand the kind of friction, let's focus on the yellow bar. The flow diagram shows actual paths browsed by visitors. Oh, Shiv, I love a good flow chart. Yes, these are great at visualizing the paths. And the AI analyzes every actual path taken, identifies the friction experienced by visitors, and calculates the experience score. You pinpoint the actual paths that led to bad experience. Nothing out there provides you with such actionable insights. Speaking of which, click on the path with the low score for actionable insights. Check the path, offers and promotions to destinations. Okay, Shiv, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I've been on that path more than once myself. Let's definitely improve it. Let's do it. The path has a low score of 0.54, and about a half a million visitors take this path. This is a major concern. Let's run segment analysis to understand the reasons for the bad score. And here's the moment of truth. It appears that the visitors who purchase six or more weeks in advance are especially having poor experiences. It is possible that the offers are unclear, leading to poor experiences. Yeah, see, I really get that because one time I stayed in this hotel in Miami and it had photos of dolphins on the website and I went into the room, no dolphins, you know? And I was like, okay, three stars. Kristen, once you identify the segment and the problem, you can take care of such a confusion. How? You start a journey, send an email to this segment with a targeted and clearly worded offer, which removes the confusion. In summary, winning scores gives you survey level feedback from visitors without asking them to answer a single question. It identifies the reason for bad experience and provides you insights to improve visitors' experience. That is all from me. If you like my sneak, want to see it added to our products, tweet with hashtag Project Winning Scores. Thank you for watching my sneak. Thank you, Shiv. That is such a useful tool for businesses and so much easier than reading those Yelp TED Talks or reviews.